Hello, my name is Emily Lauber and I'm a student in CE 300 Engineering Business Practices at Arizona State University with Dr. Seeger for the spring semester of 2015. Today I want to focus on some examples of engineering ethics questions that might show up on the FE exam. For the FE exam, the engineering ethics questions will be based off of the fundamental canons of engineering and will also require reading comprehension and logic. The fundamental canons of engineering can come from the American Society of Civil Engineers, the National Society of Professional Engineers, or the National Council of Examiners for Engineering and Surveying. These three societies all have very similar fundamental canons. They are just phrased slightly differently. The three canons that I want to focus on today are to hold paramount the safety, health, and welfare of the public, to perform services only in areas of their expertise, and to act for each employer or client as faithful agents or trustees. A licensed, registered, professional structural engineer working for an engineering company approves the plans for an overhead walkway made of steel and the atrium of a hotel. During construction, the installers working for a construction firm do not correctly follow the installation plans and the walkway collapses due to an incorrect installation. Who is the primary party held reliable for the accident? Is it A, the steel company who fabricated the steel beams, B, the construction company, C, the engineering design company, or D, the county building inspectors. The correct answer is C, the engineering design company. We can eliminate A because the steel was not defective, so the steel company who fabricated the steel beams is not at fault. We can eliminate D, the county building inspectors, which leaves us with B, the construction company, or C, the engineering design company. The fault is ultimately the engineering design company because they would have signed off on that construction that was performed. A registered engineer is being interviewed for television on a matter relating to his expertise that affects the public safety. The interviewer asks a question about the chances for a cure for AIDS. The engineer should A. Express his opinion honestly and completely B. Decline to comment C. Recount what he read in a magazine article on the subject or D. Suggest everyone get an AIDS test. The correct answer is B. Decline to comment. Because he is on television being interviewed to a matter relating to his expertise, Engineers have a lot of credibility with the public. This credibility should not be abused. And as such, the engineer should not answer questions outside of his area of expertise. A registered engineer is retained as an expert witness by one of the parties in a civil case where the public safety is not involved. In investigating the technical data in the case, the engineer makes findings that are not favorable to the side of the party who retained her. The engineer should A. Inform the party who retained her of the findings B. Inform the judge of the findings C. Inform the opposing party of the findings or D. Say nothing about the findings until called to testify. The answer is A inform the party who retained her of the fi findings. An initial read might have you think that the answer would be B, inform the judge of the findings, or D, say nothing about the findings until called to testify. The reading comprehension comes in because at this point, the engineer is only retained for the case and not actually on the stand testifying. Because they are retained by a specific firm, they need to respect the obligation made to their client and inform the client of the findings. Keep this in mind when studying for the FE exam and make sure to review the canons. Good luck!